Hello, Midwest Fun Page. Today, there's blood in the water, and we're at Fright Fest. But if you see this little girl over, over here, we're here to celebrate her birthday. And she wanted to go to... Boo Fest. Boo Fest. Let's go to Boo Fest. We haven't gone yet, and I'm just really excited to see what they have during the day. Four haunted houses for the price of one? No, that's one price. Oh. oh. Kind of tricky wording. Yeah, it's tricky. The water is red over here. Remember, don't drink the water. What does it taste like? I didn't try it, and okay. I didn't put any more Yeah, no one should try it, but she did, and it did not taste good. Not something Midwest Heather does. Look at those skeletons, they're still trying to climb up. And it still says, welcome up there. Last time we were here, we were attacked. And that, that was like the third time that, that I got attacked by the trolls over Lord of Verbal Tubes. Verbally attacked. Verbally attacked, oh no, no, no. One of them told me I smelled like onions. Oh yeah. We saw uh, like a marching band come in and told Jim I forgot to bring my tuba. You gonna pet the cat? Absolutely. Meow, meow, meow. We should probably get a map. Do you think we could, for one, we're gonna get in trouble with Eric if we get a map. Uh, but two, to... do you think we pack these up? Or they pack them up at the end of the night? We gotta pack them up before we leave, right? Okay. Gotta pack up the cats. Here is the ninja. This thing's way past its service life. If you don't believe me, take a ride on it. You'll understand what I'm, what I'm talking about. The McBoogles go on a picnic. The McBoogles family hayride, noon to 6 p.m. And I guess the theme is the McBoogles go on a picnic. Let's go, let's go check it out. You want to go on a hayride with the McBoogles, Jim? Sure. Let's I wonder do where it. the McBoogles hayride is. Oh, the pirate. Two pirates. I the little pumpkin guys. Are those pumpkin guys or what are those supposed to be? Oh, I don't know. They're creepy though. Creepy. I wonder if they're from something. Yeah, I don't I'm know. Sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. We have some classic Halloween villains here. We have Frankenstein's monster, Dracula, a werewolf. I'm not sure what that green guy is. Then we have a mummy. Oh, look at this. Lydia, Beetlejuice. <laughs> I still need to rewatch the original so that we can see the second one because I really don't remember a lot from the first movie. There's three Beetlejuices in there. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Yes. Oh no, where is he? Do you want to ride the Batman? Maybe. Are I you... just felt like I needed a themed shirt here. The funny thing is I purchased this in Orlando at a store that sold mostly Universal and Disney. Okay, so we're going into the old paintball arena. Did, did you ever play the paintball here? I did. There's the old soda stand. It's a moon car. Another moon car. Now we don't know where all the moon cars went. So that just proves one thing. They have the moon cars. I don't know when they're gonna bring them back. The happy little, little boot right there. There's another cat. There's another cat, right. What you think of Mr. Boogles? It was very cute, uh, very bumpy. It is very, very bumpy. bumpy. Very but bumpy. It, it was really cute though. Yeah. It is just an absolutely beautiful day at the park. It's gorgeous. I am sure it'll be super busy today just because it's so pretty. One thing that we have not done this year is get an ice cream cone. 
if we have the appetite for it before we leave, maybe Jim and I will have to share one. Let's go see if there's anything new in the store. What do we have here? Do we have something that is boring enough for me? Freaks come out at night. I don't know if I want it with the Batman sim symbol on it. Maybe I'm calling myself boring when I'm actually really high maintenance. Oh, hey, there's this guy. <gasps> do you want to pack up a Poo Cat? Poo Cat? Poo Cat. How much is the Poo Cat? I don't know. Doesn't say. What is this? No, scary clown. There was an amazing like autumn themed shirt I saw at Six Flags Great America this year and they had like nothing left. They, they didn't have anything in my size left. See, he just gets attacked every time he comes here. You know what, hold this Jim. Oh, yeah. It was kind of like the shirt I saw was kind of like this. So, are you making the fudge yet? Um, we're not making fudge today. We're making caramel apples. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I might come back later. All right. Yeah, we'll be making them all day, so. Thank you. Of course. <clears throat> and here's the fudge. That looks so good. Admiring the fudge. I think Heather found her shirt. for this basic girl and I'm I'm so excited this is perfect this says middle-aged woman right here and I'm going for it what does this shirt say that says you grew up in the 90s and you even did, did you shave your head to look like Billy Corgan Jim no he shaved his head to look like me. <laughs> good answer isn't that right, Mr. Flash? We're gonna meet a Macho Nacho. Okay. You ready to roll? Yeah, I'm so happy. So, it, was, it was less than $15 with my season pass discount too. Nice. Bye, Vampire Bears. Time to admire the fudge. <laughs> admire it, Jim. Are you admiring the fudge? I'm admiring it. Do you, sure. I'm not getting any, any today, but do you see? What's what's your favorite, Jim? We talked about this a little bit. My favorite's mint. Oh, me too. But anything with peanut butter. But Jim and I love mint everything, so peanut butter is good. You can't go wrong with peanut butter. I'm here at Colonnades, wait for my food. I wish I went to Nacho Macho Nacho Burrito because I look over there and Heather has already gotten her food. She's waiting there for me. So this good looking guy just sat down to have lunch with me. He's he's pointing out a bee that is trying to examine my my nachos. This is Tommy G. Robertson. I hope you're waving at home or wherever you're watching this. Make sure to wave to the people on the train. They can totally see you. Got the zombie burger from Colonnades. What's on your burger, Midwest Jim? I know there's Bacon, avocado. Avocado. A chili sauce? Chili sauce, yeah. Is there cheese on it too? Looks like pepper jack cheese. My oh, favorite. Oh, yum. I My love favorite. pepper jack. Got some ranch and some bullseye. What is bullseye? Is it ketchup or? Barbecue sauce. Oh, cool. Okay. So we got bees all over our food. <laughs> that is, I mean, unfortunately, once you start September, you're going to see a lot of bees at Six Flags St. Louis. It's ladybugs in the, in the spring, and it's bees in the fall. Yeah. Well, Jim is going to try his food, and then we'll be back to let you know how it is. It's very fresh. But it's not the same size patty that is on the picture, I'll tell you that. Picture has this big, thick looking patty. Yeah. The sauce is amazing. Yeah, it's like a, I think one, I want to say it said like sweet chili or something yeah. like that, which is definitely in your. Big fan. Yeah, that's your kind of thing for sure. I'm I know you. Need some more of this and I'll tell you about it because I'm really hungry. Okay. Until this flight get out of here. Hey, B, go away. Jim just finished his lunch. He had 
as we showed you before, the zombie burger. He also tried some of my chicken nachos. What did you think of my chicken nachos? Chick chicken nachos were really good. Uh, I saw Midwest Eric try them on the Ides of March. Did he like them? He liked them, but he said he left them too long and they became soup. Oh, that's true. Uh, if you, I love nachos, but you kind of have to dig in quickly or they get super soggy. And if you get a chance, go over to the Ides of March check them out yes i did march adventures make sure to add adventures or you're going to have 50 gazillion results so yeah, i did march stuff that's not <laughs> yeah so make sure to look up i did march adventures and i'll take you to the right page um so what's your final review on the burger there's one fry left your fries looked good they i'm stuffed great. so i didn't try them but they looked really fresh and crispy the burger was perfect are you the, gonna are you gonna be buying chili sauce on the way home? I think so. <laughs> I never thought of that putting that on a burger. Yeah. But it was more of a it had, it had a lot of produce on it. Uh-huh. It had the avocado, avocado, a tomato, pickle. Uh, pepper jack pepper too. Jack I know that's not cheese. produce, but it is excellent. Love pepper jack. Really good. Uh, I definitely get it again. If they put it in the park as a regular menu I item. I would get there every time I come here. Come here. Nice. There's a lot of stuff that I tried this year that I was like, this is great. I mean, if you really think about how this park used to be, maybe five years ago, they, they, they got so much better. They have. They have. And the food is really good. Really good food. I mean, even like, um, if, if, you, if you missed it, a few videos ago, I was talking about how, I mean, in general, I'm not a big chicken finger fan, and I tried the chicken fingers here. I particularly did not like the chicken fingers at Six Flags. Tried them a few weeks ago, loved them. They were so much meatier. They used to be very bread heavy, and it was a really good balance of crispiness and meat this time. So we've had an awesome year. Good job, Six Flags. We were, we're seeing a lot of good things. The, the characters, their costumes, the theming the details of Fright Fest. I mean, even like the trash cans that they have on the, the light posts that have the jack-o'-lantern faces. Those have really added to the experience and it's been awesome. We love saying good job and good job. What are the spiders' names again? I, I don't know. Um, Sally and Sam. Sally and Sam Spider-Man. Sally and Sam Sp Spider-Man? Yeah. So okay. Sally and Sam Spider-Man. What in the world? Is that skeleton growling? Or, Let, is it, or is something growling in the 80s? Let him out. Sounds like... Sounds like someone needs to eat. Lord Grumbletube. None of your characters are here to attack me. Thank this God. Characters here are so good. They are so good. They're so good. Do you want to pledge your allegiance to Lord Grumbletube? I don't think so. They tried to get me to do it three times. I know. I got attacked both times. All, uh -oh. all three times. Uh-oh. You know, you know what I deserve? I deserve some candy. Okay. Where are you going to take me? Let's go trick-or-treating. The Spooky Town Candy Trail. Trick or Treat Trail. Trick or Treat Trail. Whoa. That's dangerous. I don't think I'm supposed to walk there. It's very soft. It's very soft. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's very soft. And a root or something. <laughs> How you doing? With the grown up like a pine dog? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Pumpkin. It's pumpkin flavored? There's pumpkin seeds in it. Nice. Dark chocolate raspberry pumpkin seed with almonds and peanuts. Hello. You are sleeping, aren't you? Yes, you are. The trolls are sleeping. Someone must have called Ro uh, the Orchid Man? Rottler? I think those yeah. are both pets and girls. They are. 
There's no pests in here. There's some pests up high, though. I see them. And, and they've got some babies on the way. Oh, wow. Don't sue us, Phil. We're seeing our second, or our third water feature of the day. The first two were the fountain in the beginning of the park and the fountain outside the park, but they had blood in them. This is just regular, uh, it should taste normal. Don't drink water out of fountains. Well, if Heather was here, she'd probably be probably give this spider a, a name. Um, so Sally and Sam were taken. Right. Sabrina Spider-Man. Sabrina Spider-Man. Is that the smoking casket? Uh, Is I think it? it's the other one over here to the left. But that's super gross. I never noticed that at night. Maybe it's kind of harder to see. I think that's the smoking casket over there. I think this is be wrong though. Pick it up, see if there's a fog machine in, in there. No. Okay. I don't really feel like it kicked out of six. They put out the fire over here. Me too. No fire. They didn't start it. They didn't start the fire. Just like Billy Joel. Yeah. It's alive. Creatures of the corn straight ahead. That's a uh, haunted zone, haunted house zone. It's not exactly time to pick up the cats. But we're gonna get ready to pack up the cats. This guy is not gonna fit in the back of the Midwest Beast, I guarantee it. No, we have to deflate him first. What's his name? Frankie the Feline. Frankie the Feline. Mm -hmm. Here is the fourth water feature that we've seen today. And it's blue. Why is it blue? I don't know why it's blue. I don't know what about Halloween is blue because I mean like purple is a Halloween color. Maybe it's supposed to be purple. They had some blue dye left over from when the blues won the Stanley Cup. That's probably what it That's is. That's what it is. But it doesn't taste like the red water. It's don't the drink the water. I didn't drink the water. You drank the water. We're going over to oh the train station. Scooby Doo, we do. Where are you? This is from the Scooby Doo ride. This is the creepy castle. So ride. is this. There's the knight in shining armor. He's a little shiny. It's a little rusty. We're following the footprints. Over here. Do uh, what? Oh. Hey, what's going on? Good, how are you? Can we get into the Scooby Doo? <laughs> I mean, this is the creepy castle, not the Scooby Doo. Okay, the creepy castle that yeah. was in Scooby Doo. Yeah, it's really spooky. <laughs> spooky? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> he scared well, me so much, I started crying. Oh. oh. He cast a spell and shook my nose. It's funny oh. because you're a clown. Oh, it's not funny. <laughs> So how do we get in? Right over here, okay. Oh, okay. Yes, we're following the dragon's footprints. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, twist my arm, sure. I'll take a lifesaver. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Hey, they even have the uh, things you used to shoot on the scooter. Yeah. You're right. You can see the creepy little eyes in there, too. They're not lit up anymore. No, they're not. That's awesome. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Chicago train station. That's where, what is this called? This is the Creepy Castle. Creepy Castle. And it looks like up by the amphitheater, Cornelius the not so very scary scarecrow and his friends invite young guests ages 12 and under to make their way through his straw maze to receive a special treat. Are you 12 and under? 
I'm not. You want to see if they'll let us go through the straw maze? I'll tell them I know Eric, my and Marge. They'll let me in. I mean, no problem. How you get through everything. Here's Mama Dragon and Baby Dragon. What's their names? Dipsy and Doopsy Dragon. Dipsy and Doopsy Dragon. Do you know anybody named Dipsy and Doopsy? I do. They're these dirty dragons right here. Are they? Yeah. Is that CM Punk? CM Punk is here at the uh, Six Flags. Yeah, I bet. Like Mussolini. I guess it's karaoke day here at Bugs Bunny National Park. Yeah. All the, have fun to get through the day. All the ride operators were singing. How do you get in this thing? Right through that pumpkin up here? I'll follow you. All right, boys and girls, it's now time for story time. Did you know that Six Flags once had an amphitheater? They still, do. they still do they don't use it anymore but it was functional bands were never upset with it lighting rig people could put the lights up and hang the speakers up without any problems i don't know why they don't use this anymore look at it it's ready to go we just need leds up to get back together and come here and play actually Maybe I'll talk to the Ides of March people and see if they, they they want to start a band and we'll play here. There you go. All right. So this is Cornelius Straw Maze. That looks like something you'd see in front of a Lowe's or Home Depot in the parking lot. Like a shed you can buy. We've actually been everywhere because the last thing is the pirates who we met early in the day who helped us find the McBoogles. McBoogles. So we've seen all of the special places for Boo Fest. It's cute. Yeah. Let's pick up the cats. Yum, 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 yum. Was your lunch yum, 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 Tim? It was yum, yum, yum. It, of course it was. Mine was yum, yum, yum. It's a classic, you know, chicken nachos. Funny thing is we're having chicken nachos for dinner, too. Take one last look at the Apple Theater. I've seen Alice Cooper here. Oh, who else did I see? I've seen a bunch of bands here. But Alice Cooper's probably the biggest. Oh, ho ho! New Kids on the Block. I didn't see it, but I walked it walked past it right over here. I heard it. New kids on, on the block and the girls were screaming. <laughs> screaming. You can hear them screaming through the entire park. From back here. Yeah, it, it was funny. This place was packed. It is a gorgeous day. Gorgeous. It has to be warmer than they said it was going to be. Let's see what it looks like in the parking lot on the way out. This is where the trolls used to be. Back when this was Robin Hood's forest. Because the Robin Hood Theater was right over here. Where... Not Tony Hawk. What is this called? Pandemonium. But I still call it Tony. It's still called Tony Hawk in my book. I don't care, Cell. I want to see this carousel running. Today I saw a friend post some pictures from when she came, like like 2017 or something, and they were riding the carousel, and I was like, oh, I wish I could ride the carousel today. Oh, I found it. Eyes of March wants to know what's in this green box. Probably something to do with the carousel. Probably not. There's a bee on the box. A bee guard in the box. I was going to lift this up, see if there's anything in there. Yeah, don't do that. There's a bee guard in it. And you shouldn't do that. Right, you shouldn't do it. That's why you're going to do it. There's no cables going to the box. I can't imagine what it could be. Maybe it was just an old box they 
decided to paint it green. It has something to do with the new ride. Oh, there's a thing up here. What's this say? Oh, it's a hotel room key. I'm sure this thing had something to do with the, the new ride. The paint looks fresh. They didn't want This really looks like something Jim would like. The, the special item here at Free Rose is the Haunted Honey Heat. Classic pepperoni drizzled with a sinister sweet hot honey sauce. That sounds like something you would love. Eighteen dollars for a slice of pizza. Well, we would use our our passes, but the food here is extremely expensive. Let's say you didn't have a pass. Oh, it's expensive. Eighteen dollars for a slice of pizza. Yeah. It is not cheap to eat. At, at Six Flags without a pass. No. $18 for a slice of pizza. Wild. Here at Primo's. We have all kinds of games over here. Oh, Mario and Luigi and Princess, Princess Peach. Hello. Hey, Hello. so How are you? doing pretty good. Do you have any winners today? We have winners every day. Everybody's every day. A winner. All right, cool. You can't leave with a, without being a winner. You hear that? <laughs> so yeah, depending on what you play, depending on what you win. Guarantee at least a small item. But then you can if it's a medium or a large or a giant, no choice. Is that a sloth over there? Yes, it is. Cool. Those yeah. fish have feet. That's hilarious. Fish have where? Oh yeah. Orange. Yeah. Nemo's got feet. <laughs> yeah. That is Nemo, yes. Oh, come on. There we go. You know, they had to do their own interpretation right. with certain stuff. <laughs> right. They get the door if they have nothing from coming out. Uh -uh. Right. Well, about Nemo really been to the door. Nemo and Mermaid. Yeah, the, the, the mermaid cat yeah. is super cute. And the bunny. You see the bunny? Let's see the bunny. Oh, it is cute. I really like the bunny. Where's the bunny? Right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we're about to pack up the cat, so we'll see you later, okay? <laughs> All right, cool. See ya. Hey, look, more games. Oh, my gosh. Is that what I think it is? Pokemon. Is that poke? You said Pokemon? Pokemon. Did someone say Pokemon? I did. I think I see Pokemon. Pokemon? Pokemon, pumpkin Pokemon. Oh, Pico Lantern. That's pretty cool. Can you name all the Pokemon? Oh, okay. You, you have any winners today? Any, anybody win today? Not today. Not yet. The day is young, right? All right. Hey. I got your fork. Oh, thank you. Bat girl. Oh, no, I snagged my... No, I didn't. I thought I snagged my bat shirt. Let's go ahead and pick up the cats on this one. Yeah, I'm in now. From Boo Fest at Fright Fest it's at Six Flags. St. Louis. St. Louis. We tried to go to the Fright Fest... Or the Boo Fest in Great America. And 50 gazillion other people were there. So we turned around. It was much more than 50. It was like maybe... I said 50 gazillion. Oh, like 80,000 in there at 11, 11 a.m. They had no parking, no parking. Wild. It was a lovely day. Though. It was a lovely day. And you will see that video soon. If I haven't dropped it already, I'm not sure when I'm going to drop this. But hey, look, this poo hat. He looks like an angry bird. He's just a regular old poo. We got some Harley Quinn stuff in here. Daddy's little monster. Gold Batman Rookie Racer. $20 for a Rookie Racer shirt. You if, want... if you had designed the shirt, you would put a nest right there. Yes, Rookie Racers. Rookie Racers. I think I was trying to pack up the cats. The cats... Cats are getting difficult. To oh, wow. I almost fell here at Six Flags St. Louis. Oh, 
What did Eric call this? The Ides of March Hoot Nanny? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> oh yeah. This 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 is Ides of March's area over here. This is their 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 haunted house. The entire park. I uh, I don't know. Not yet, but because I thought the area over by Johnny Rockets was his. Yeah. You can only have one area, I think. It's in the bylaws of the YouTubers, right? I don't know. Oh. Britannia pays tribute to the British heritage and influence in the American Midwest through the fantasy and pageantry of a long of a time long past in merry old England. At one point in time, now they have Tony Hawk. No, they don't have Tony Hawk. It's the Panamonian. And Miss Kitties. How does that pay tribute? <laughs> I think that Miss Kitties might be considered in another area by the time you get there. Oh, okay. Here is Mr. Freeze! Miss Freeze! Robin Hood is gone. You're right. Robin Hood, is, he's been gone for a while, honey. Huh? Yes. Come here, did this one say Gateway Games up over here? I think you're right. Okay. Gateway Games across from the Colossus. Across from the low sensory room. Will Smith. I wonder if he's slapping him. Here they are. Pack them up, honey. Pack up the cats. I think I'm leaving them here. They look like they're having fun. But it's gonna it's gonna get dark and the, the, the freaks will be unleashed. They're okay, they're pretty tough. Are you tough cats? Yeah. Okay. Watch out for the poo. Do you know where I can find the boo, uh, no boo for you necklaces? So much. No boo for you necklaces? Um not really. I don't really think it's kinda over in this section. Maybe if you try kinda over there. Kind of with mostly like the managers and stuff. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Yes, like, we are going to get you a no boo for you necklace. No. Yes, I think so because you don't like getting scared. I'm okay with the characters who are in the scare zones. I just don't want to go through haunted houses. Go through the haunted house with a no boo for you necklace. I don't think it does. I Spend think it all actually, that money and ruin it. If, no, it says, I don't think they, I think they specifically say it doesn't work in the haunted houses. It's funny they're bringing it back like the last couple weeks of Six Flags. You know, I don't blame them for making that money. Oh, here's a, here's a, look at this. They got the dead clowns on the back of it. I'm happy with my purchase today. So am I. And with my discount, less than $15. Super happy. What are happened to this band? Did I you know, know Ted Nugent was in this band? And Tommy Shaw from I Sticks? Oh. Yeah. This is a uh, damn Yankees. This is cute. It is. I'm getting this for Heather's birthday. Ninja at Six Flags St. Oh, Louis. My favorite ride. Let's go ride it. No. Come on, let's go. No. I don't see any bees or wasps. The bees uh, were visiting us during lunch. Yes, they did. Four haunted houses for one price. Doesn't mean it's a deal. No. Um, I think we've been to 1904 Classic Hot Dog Grand Prize this year. Maybe we'll go sometime soon, hopefully, before the park closes. Those hot dogs are really good. People are still rolling in here at Six Flags St. Louis. But we're going to be taking off. We're going to we're gonna pick up the cats. Yum, yum, yum. Food was yum, yum, yum. It, it was. was. gorgeous day. We had a great time just kind of hanging out, walking around, and visiting Boo Fest. We got dinner or lunch. We got to go see Lord Grumbletude without getting harassed. It was excellent. 
but we're gonna find our way through the exit. Oh, this is. The, they're gonna try the water out. Don't mind being harassed. No, we don't mind being harassed. Actually, they they like to play along, which is awesome. Which is what they're supposed to do. Yes, and the actors, the the characters in Chicago, were not having any of it. Maybe they were told not to do it. But Six Flags St. Louis, you guys are doing an awesome job. That's exactly what I want out of a theme park was the interaction with the characters, kind of like the pirates today. I want to thank them for interacting and playing along. They got all six flags rolling in the wind. And here is the arch. I thought it was downtown, but they moved it over here. There's the line for guest relations. Wow. From Six Flags St. Louis at Boo Fest, uh, Fright Fest at Boo Fest. This is the Midwest Fun Page. Make sure you please like and subscribe. Tell a friend if you want to get in touch with me or with any of us, you can email us at what is it? Midwestfunpage <laughs> at gmail.com. Right. You can check us out on TikTok at Jimmy Tango, on YouTube at Midwest Fun Page so far, and on Facebook at Midwest Fun Page. Put a fork in it, we're done. Have you been waiting to make that joke for like two hours? No, it just was in my pocket. And Whoa, I'm getting wet with the red. Uh, yeah, the second shower of the day. The wind's picking up. We're going to leave Six Flags St. Louis. Let's say bye to the ghost before we go. Hey, pole with two cameras on it. Behind it is the Boofest ghost. Bye. Good night, Ashley.